Last week when I was in my hometown, I went to some estate sales. And at this one sale, I hit a treasure trove of old yearbooks. And then at another sale last week, I got more old yearbooks. So we thought it would be fun to read what other kids have written in these yearbooks. Today, we're reading other people's yearbooks. Hey, y'all. I'm Abby. And I'm Keith. Welcome to our 80s Life podcast. So yearbooks are super fun. We recently shared some anecdotes from our own yearbooks in our Memories of Junior High episode. That's right. So getting a yearbook was an event. Oh, totally. So at my school, we actually, on the day we got yearbooks in junior high, we had like a special time, like an hour or so in the gym where you could run around and get everybody to sign them. And that was so fun. It was like a party. The cool thing in junior high is that you get the yearbooks actually during the school year. So it's at the end, close to the end of school. And then that way everyone can sign them. But I don't think ours was organized as having an event. I think for us, it was more between classes. We would, uh, you know, just ask people to sign them. Yeah, we did that too as well. So we got ours on the last day of school. And because I noticed in some of the pictures of the last day of school, we were carrying them around. So we definitely went around and got friends to sign them and all of that. And these people did too that I bought their yearbooks. Now, I hopefully you guys don't think it's super weird that I'm buying other people's yearbooks. Again, kind of like the tapes, they're selling them at the sales. And so why not buy them? They're very entertaining and they're only like a dollar or two each. So yeah. let's do it. Well, hang on. I have a question before we get there. Oh, okay. About getting your book signed. So, I mean, obviously you got your friends to sign them, but were you also trying to get like boys you like to sign them? Or, oh, sure. You know. Or, yeah, absolutely. Or, or were there certain people you were after to make sure you got their sig- their signatures or their notes in your book? Yes. Okay. And also I noticed looking back at mine, a ton of people gave me their digits in the yearbook. That was like your chance <laughs> to ask someone to call you over the summer. Otherwise, you felt like you might never see them again, even though you probably would see them in the fall. Yeah, I must have been really naive. Well, probably no girls one of my digits, but... You didn't write your digits in but other I, people's I yearbooks. never even tried, you know. <laughs> like, hey, if there were girls I liked, I should have, like, been writing my digits in there. and like, call me. I mean, you youngsters need to realize that we did not have cell phones. And so, um, you know, you had to write your actual phone number. And most of my friends, I had their numbers memorized, like my good friends. Or I had a preset, you know. Um, So it was all about the digits. In fact, this first yearbook here um, from 8384, on the front of it, it's supposed to be like a wall. It's like a brick wall. It's pretty cool. It has like ACDC, Motley Crue. Yeah, I think it's like student art, but it's funny because they actually wrote someone's phone number for a good time call, and it's a phone number, and it's not 8675309. It's like a 235 number, which I know would have been a number for Richardson back then. We should call it and see who answers. (laughs) It says, it also says, John is a babe and a half. Okay, John. And you will find it, babe was the going lingo, because as we read this book, I noticed she did circle the babes. But before we get to that one, we're going to do these in chronological order. So the first two that I have here um, actually came from a local school nearby here, and I bought them at a local estate sale just yesterday. And these were from a boy called Gage, 81, 82, and this one is... 1980. So he's a little bit older than us. And look at their uh, mascot, you guys, the the tornadoes. tornadoes. That's pretty appropriate for Kansas. Yes, that's a good one. (laughs) So let's see if there's anything interesting in Gage's yearbook. Yeah, we have to put on our glasses. All right, folks, we're old. We're old. We can't see. Okay. And I also have to read cursive. I don't know the last time I read cursive. (laughs) Oh, this is funny right off the bat. Gage to a weird guy who I'm glad I don't know very well. <gasps> Thank God you're an eighth grader, Michelle. Man, oh, Michelle. that was rude. Man. That was harsh, Michelle. Come on, Michelle. But the next person said, you're a nice guy and a good sax player from Amber. So Amber wrote something kind, but Michelle, not very nice. We have one from Carol here. Gage, 
to a sweet guy and a good friend, even though you got me a $22 speeding ticket <gasps> for going 45 and a 30. Wait, I thought this was middle school. Love you. Anyway, love Carol. Oh, it says freshman year. Okay, so they were driving by this point. This one's eighth grade, and you have the ninth grade. Yeah, in Kansas, you get a driver's license like when you're like 12. No, 14. Well, probably. 14 is learning permit. Probably in 81, it probably was 12. It might have been. Around here, especially out in the rural areas, the kids can drive a lot earlier because they're driving tractors and stuff too. But um, here in Wichita, it was, for our daughter, it was 14 for learner's permit 15 for an actual license which for us was crazy because we had to wait till we were 16 okay so this one says gage to a real nut it's been fun knowing you and i hope you enjoy your freshman year good luck in everything friends always p.s don't take spanish (laughs) (laughs) that's good advice don't take spanish it's fatal (laughs) exclamation point from kim (laughs) that's probably good advice Hey, I wonder if this is the same Kim. Let's oh, see, let me see what her writing. Oh, is. no, no, no the, the, this this, is... this writing's very good. Okay, yeah, it's different handwriting. Gage, you're a sweet and nice guy, and even a great next door neighbor oh. to have. Even though we always seem to get in trouble at the same time. Maybe by this time next year, I'll have my car, and we can blow my gas. Okay, <laughs> hope in the future we stay as close as we have been for the past three years. Love you like a brother, Kim. <laughs> love you like a brother. Oh, we used to always say love you like a sister. That's cute. Susan says, Gage, you're a really nice, neat guy. Stay in band because you're a good sax player and you've got lots of air. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Two people have mentioned his saxophone playing skills, which must have been really good. I don't know about your school, but at my school... The coolest guys were the ones that played the saxophones. Only the cool guys played the saxophones. Like, that was, like, the sexy instrument to play, I guess. I mean, I think as far as if – I don't know if being in band was cool. At least it wasn't at our (laughs) school. But I guess as you rank out people that are in band, the sax player probably would be the coolest of the band people. Well, think about the music in the 80s. All of the big 80s music would have, like, this – saxophone solo right in the middle, right? A lot of the hits had the the big sax solo. The saxophone really got a lot of attention back in the 80s. And if you played the saxophone, that was just an extra feather in your cap, I think. All right, so I got one. Gage, to a really nice guy with a neat moped. Good luck with everything you do, Terry. Man, Mm -hmm. so we're learning a lot about Gage. Gage was a saxophone player. He was a motorcycle rider. Yes. Oh, one of his teachers signed it. I've enjoyed having you in my class and wish you the best in the future. Well, that was nice. Wait a minute. Here we go. Uh-oh. We got some juicy to ones? Gage, no. To a very horrible sax player. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Not really. Not really. Oh, they're just kidding. JK. I could call you Pizza Face, or I could call you Fatso, your good friend John. What in the world? Uh, okay. This Now, I have a really long, this person wrote a long thing, like it filled up all around the page. Gage, to one of my best friends, which I'll keep forever, since you've moved next door. Oh, this is the next door neighbor. Since you've moved next door, we have done a few wild and crazy things together. I'll probably never forget the night we played Monopoly. I didn't get home until 1.30 a.m., but I didn't get in trouble. Unbelievable. I'll be happy when I get my driver's license. We will be able to go riding and driving together. So far, it has been okay riding around with you on your motorcycle. A little scary at times, but fun. I hope we will be able to do a lot more things together next year. I'll be working this year at the shop. But other than that, I won't be doing anything else. I hope we have lots of fun. I hope you go far in life. Good luck, friends forever. Kim. All right, I'm not trying to read too much into this. Kim totally likes him. Kim was totally in to Gage, for sure. And she was his next-door neighbor, and who else were next-door neighbors when they met? We were. That's right. That's how we met. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe they ended up together. We will never know. But 
It's fun to imagine, isn't it? It is. I'm trying to find a picture of Gage. Oh, yeah. I need to look for one, too. Okay. So in this one, my book, he's in eighth grade. And this isn't a very big school, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Just so you know, we have not previewed this because I wanted to read him the first time in front of you guys. These kind of have a musty smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found him. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's really cute. If, ah, yeah. Gage. I'm assuming this is him. It's not like Gage is a really common name. Oh, he's super cute, you guys. I can see why the girls were all signing his yearbook. That's a cute boy. Okay, I think I found the Kim. Because this one has a star by her name, and it says 85. Okay. And she was younger. Gage, to a really neat, nice, and cute guy who is very fun to be around. Don't forget the times you came to the drugstore. I really think you're one of the greatest guys around. Best of luck, always. P.S. Even though I'm in high school next year, don't forget me. Love ya, Vicky. Um, okay, here's one to a very nice, sweet guy. He gets that a lot, nice and sweet. Only Michelle didn't have nice things to say. Everybody else has been really kind. Gage, to a nice guy who is good about sharing your gum. Okay. Stay the way you are, Teresa. Nice and sweet guy. Lots of fun to be around, so stay that way. Keep on spinning your wheels. So this is to a crazy person who doesn't like carrying big horns and band. Good luck and have fun. Love, Susan. All right. This one is pretty hilarious. The page before, the one I just read you, was from someone called Cheryl. And this one says, Gage, to a good friend, even though you have disgusting people, Cheryl, sign your yearbook. <laughs> Man. Woo, these girls, though. Well, I've noticed that it's almost all girls that signed his book. It is. It's almost completely all girls. Mm -hmm. Here's a boy, Brad, who signed it. Instead of Gage, he signed it to Mr. Space Invader, to a boy who can really play alien real great and is fun to be around. That's so 80s. I love it. And then Melody says... You're a really good friend and a terrible pinball player and terrible Gorf player. Remember Gorf? Ha ha. You're a real sweet guy. Stay that way. Your friend Melody. What does keep spinning your wheels? Two different people have said that. Does that have to do with riding his motorcycle? Oh, probably, keep yeah. Spinning your wheels. He was a cool rider. This one says. She totally ignored my Grease 2 reference. By oh, way. sorry. To a cool kid that's good shooting with erasers. Okay. How do you shoot an eraser? I'm very curious about we, that. We were big into spitballs in junior high. Did y'all do the spitballs? That's gross. Only the gross boys did that. We, we would put them in our, because back then you'd get like the pencils that you could put the lead in. Oh, you could just take the ink yeah. out of your pen so, and you would have like a straw. But it, it was a similar thing with the with the pencils. So we either do pencils or pen, but it would have, you know, be like a cylinder that you could put the actual paper into that was wet that's disgusting and then you would either spit it at someone but we'd usually spit them on the ceiling yeah at my school they did it on the ceiling they didn't spit them at us which would be really gross and probably get you in trouble well i'm sure put, doing it on the ceiling would get you in trouble as well yeah probably so these other three were from my hometown a different junior high so also richardson but this was from richardson north junior so high. were they your rival um i guess so yeah we played them um now, this one's from a girl, and her name's Marty. And now, it's a little later. Okay, those ones were 80 and 81 and 82. Now, th this is probably a bigger school and much nicer yearbooks. They're hardback versus the uh, the, yeah. the, the paperback. These ones were soft. And uh, this is later. So her first one is 83 to 84. And they were the Vikings, right? They were the Vikings. Do you want to look at this one? And I'll take one of these. Okay. So I'll do 84 and 85. And by the way, I bought a bunch of other stuff at Marty's house because she had an amazing collection of stuffed animals. And I, I bought a Smurf, a Garfield, just a whole bunch of stuffed animals. It was really a great sale. All right, so it says, Marty, I don't know if you realize this, but you were in six of my classes this year. <laughs> it's been fun. See you next year. Love you, Stephanie. This is clearly a boy because the handwriting is atrocious. Hey, Marty. Sure glad we could flunk science together. I think... Matt needs to work on his handwriting, too, in addition to his science skills. So it's very interesting that she has, like, the last year books we were looking at were almost all girls. Mm -hmm. This one has probably a 
more of a maybe 50-50 blend, maybe yeah. a little bit heavier on the boy side, but here's one from Koi, and Koi signed it Love, which was like, oh. hey, because it's been real nice knowing you, and I wish we could have gotten to know each other better, but we didn't have enough time. My phone number is 783 dot, 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 dot. Oh. So if you ever, Mine started with 783, too. So if you ever change your mind about you know what... You can call me up. Whoa. <laughs> I would like to see you over the summer, and I'm having some swimming pool parties, and you're invited to all of them. Oh, man. My address is, okay, you are really the best girl I've known this year. You're a real sweetie, and I wish you luck at Westwood and luck all through your life. Love, Koi. Okay, let's find Koi, because Marty marked the boys that she thought were hot. She wrote, she circled them and put babe. I want to know what changed your mind about you know what You know is. what? Koi. Okay, so let's look for Koi and see if, if she thought he was a babe. What grade would this be? The same grade as her? I don't know. So I'm looking at, I have her eighth grade, and you have the seventh grade. Here he is. I found him. You found him? Hmm. All okay. Right. All right. Now he is he is boxed off. So here he is right here. But he's not labeled. He's just boxed. She boxed off a bunch of people on uh, this she one. She boxed everyone off that she considered a friend. But she didn't label him. And some of the other ones. Oh, and here she is. Yeah, there she is. And then she put friend, friend, friend. But on some of the other ones, I noticed that she had written babe. Uh, druggie. Druggy. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie was labeled a druggie. There, here's best friend. Oh, here's a total babe. Lance. Lance got total babe status. I wonder if Lance wrote in there. Oh, my gosh. This is hysterical. We got to dig deeper on this. Oh, here's one. Marty, you are my good luck charm. I don't think I could have made it through basketball without you. Wow. Marty, it's been great knowing you. We have had a lot of good times together, and we are going to have good times this summer. We are going to go and pick up guys this summer. Have a kick-ass summer with me, baby. Love, Regina. Oh, this is cute. Look, they wrote their favorite TV shows. Charles in Charge, Cosby Show, Nighttime Soaps. Oh, that would be like Dallas, right? Nighttime Soaps. Mm -hmm. Double Trouble, Kate and Allie. Okay, what's in? Guest jeans, jean jackets, boots, high tops, swatches. Yes, swatches. Short pants, baggy clothes, long johns. What's a long john? So what, what bands were uh, big? Chicago, Van Halen, Duran Duran, Scorpions, Huey Lewis in the News, Madonna, Prince, and then they just put Band-Aid, which covers... Lots. What's out? Yo-yo shoes. I don't know what that is. Izod's Valley Girls. Wide ties. High leg warmers. Knee socks to the knees. You can wear your knee socks, but you have to scrunch them down. You can't be wearing them up to your knees. Movies. Gremlins. Ghostbusters. Red Dawn. Flamingo Kid. Beverly Hills Cop. Revenge of the Nerds. She must have disliked this teacher because she crossed out her face. Yeah, back in the days, you didn't unfriend people. You just, uh, you marked Mark through, through them. <laughs> Drew a face. That, that was the old school way to unfriend someone. You, yes. just, you just marked them out. It's like they didn't exist. I noticed in one of these, she had marked her English teacher as a babe. Oh. <laughs> hot, hot for teacher. I never had a crush on any of my teachers, that's for sure. So now I'm looking at the clubs. They had a lot of the same clubs that we did. Choir. Look at these choir dresses. The same hideous choir dresses, cheerleaders. I went at the teacher signed it. Marty, I can't believe you're going to be let loose at Pierce. Good luck. <laughs> Pierce is the high school. Did Pierce start in 10th grade? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Robbie was uh, a little mischievous here. He drew a little marijuana leaf. Oh, no. It says, Marty, I'm glad we had a chance to meet and be friends. Good luck next year. Love always, Robbie. Okay. So, Abby, what were some of the things that you would consistently write? Did you have, like, any, like, kind of go-to 
statement you would write in someone's book or? The thing is, I don't remember what I wrote in other people's books. But in my book, a lot of people put too sweet to be forgotten or, you know, you know, love you like a sis, Lila's, that kind of stuff. Oh, look at this one. That's Can you cool. read it? They wrote it in a circle. Marty, it was great getting to know you. Sorry that you are going to have to turn the book around and around. <laughs> but like to be different, I hope we can take another school trip somewhere. Hope to have all my classes with you next year because you are a wonderful human being. Okay. All right. Chip wrote, Marty, I'm glad that I met you this year. You've been a great friend, and I hope to see you next year. Have a great summer. P.S. I hope one of these days we can go to the movies together. Your friend, Chip. And then some other girl wrote, and do what, Chip? <laughs> <laughs> Chip. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Between Coy and Chip, I mean, they're uh, thinking Marty's a hot commodity here. And Spence called her a babe. To a very nice, cute, sweet, etc. girl, best wishes. Good luck in the future. Love, Spence. P.S. Stay cool, babe. And he drew a little smiley face. This one says, my number is 231 dash dot 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 dot. I'll be there for you. Oh. Let's see what Stephanie had to say here. Hi, Marty. You are my best friend, and I hope you always will be. I know we got into some fights, but if you really think about it, we didn't get into as many as other best friends do. I will miss you this summer. Be sure to have a kick-ass summer, and you better go to at least two of Koi's parties. Parties. Oh, there's Koi's famous swim party. One for you and one for me, since I won't be there. I'm coming back early, so maybe I can go swimming and spend the night. But someday, I will have a pool, and you will have to come over and spend the night and watch... R-rated movies. R-rated movies (laughs) on cable at my house. I really have had a great year with you. Friends forever, Stephanie. Okay. Okay. I hope she got to go to those parties. Obviously, we learned as... Koi has good pool parties. Yeah. <laughs> well, Keith, I didn't ever sign your yearbook, but you did stay cool. Hey, Abby, have a kick-ass summer. 